Dixie's alright. Oh, Dixie's alright. Oh, yeah! Alright with me, Dream Team's alright. Oh yeah, I'm Roy. I coach Destroy. This is Warn Dog. I'm the coach of the Warn Dog. This is Calvin. <laughs> now, thanks very much to Brett for uh, sending us that very funny, very random intro. <laughs> now, can I just uh, request that we watch that little bit again where he squeals because that is very funny. <laughs> uh, now, what well done, Brett. Sam Mitchell signed that prospectus, and uh, yeah. Sam Mitchell's his favourite player. He goes Big behind. Hawthorne supporter, yeah. worthy winner, well deserved. Cool. Okay, boys, now the lockout is this Thursday. Well, the first one is anyway. I want to know what should we be thinking about in the lead up to this? Oh, well, I think um, the biggest thing is we've, we've done months and months and months of research. Yeah. You, you can't panic. Just don't panic in this week. Don't change mega structures and all that sort of stuff because. You know, we've sat there for months trying to build this team. Don't panic. Fair call. Great point. Ear to the ground. Keep your ear to the ground. Not listening for trains or horses that are coming <laughs> in your direction. But for Quakes. people with, but for oh, people with uh, injuries. <laughs> Dudes with injuries, little niggles and stuff like that over the next uh, few days. Keep your eye on that. Um, my, my thing is uh, make sure you don't just make trades and... Um, Go for that unique pick. Yeah. Like you've done your work, as the warn dog said. Just stick with that. Your team will be unique enough at the end of the year, anyway. So Cause everyone's saying, "Oh, my team looks like exactly your team, like my team. yours, yeah. exactly like yours." Yeah. yeah, they're they're actually not, are they? No. no. And men from the boys will be separated as the season goes on. With trading and stuff yeah. like that. Exactly right. But you still shouldn't have put that PDF that file. Cheat sheet up. <laughs> everyone's got the same team now. You're lucky enough to be here with Colin Garland, okay, from the Melbourne Footy Club. He's number 20. He averaged about 60 last year, so he's an absolute jet. Colin, welcome. Yeah, good to be here, mate. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks very much for your time. Now, we're just uh, wondering if you play Dream Team, what your team name is, etc. Yeah, the boys the boys play every year. We have a league uh, league going, and um, my team's I just want to beat Ricky Pettit because he's oh, the nice. one that... Uh, he takes it the most seriously and uh, puts all his research into it, you know, buys a prospectus and all that stuff. Does so, he? Um, yeah, I think everyone will be targeting him this year. Yeah. Now, what's, uh, what Melbourne players do you have in your team? Um, I guess, oh, well, this year, I guess Jack Grimes, um, you know, floating across yep. half-back. A bit expensive, but... He's had a smashing pre-season, though. Yeah, and, um, yeah, it's just a gun. A um, couple of young guys, uh, Luke Tapscott. I feel okay. yeah, he'll be uh, really good. Uh, Ricky Pettit, pretty good value. Yep. Kyle Morton, if he was up and going, um, high possession winner. Any yep. players you'd sort of stay clear of? Um, probably, probably defenders such as myself. Oh, right. know, <laughs> Matt, Matty Warnock's, Mark Jamar, big lumbering ruckman. Yep. <laughs> um, he had a pretty good year last year, though. Yeah, he did. Yep. He got up to seventy something, so yep. better than his usual. You know, one or nice. two handballs a game. He knows so. his numbers, good. Brad Green, he's. Uh, been playing a lot up forward lately. Do you reckon he'll get unleashed through the midfield? Because there's a lot more cheap ball to sort of <laughs> go through the mids. Yeah, well, definitely. I think. Well, now Carl Morton's uh, from out, you know injured out of the wing. He might push up to the ground um, this year, um, especially early in the season. So, um, and he's obviously a goal kicker as well. So, um, yeah, he's a pretty good scorer, Brad. And uh, what's the chance of Robbie Campbell getting a game? Um, well, he's had a pretty interrupted pre-season, like with his Achilles. Yep. Um, so he's probably still another you know two months away from playing. Yep. So. Um, but when he comes back good, you reckon he's a chance? Yeah, well, when he comes back, it definitely, you know, he's definitely probably now one or two best ruckmen. So, yeah, nice. um, you know, if you want someone there, maybe for later in the season, yep. yeah, definitely, definitely good an option. Call. Thank you very much there, Colin Garland. That's his name, isn't it, Apparently right? it is. It, it is. is. Now, he um, sat out there that it's going to be old mate um, Ricky Pettas, the one to beat. Apparently. We caught up with Ricky. This is what I had to say. Hey, Ricky, um, Colin Garland has said you're the man to beat at the Melbourne Football Club in regards to Dream Team. Can I just have one quick quote, what you've got going straight back at him? It's bullshit. Um, mate, he spends hours on in, on looking at, he, he actually bought the prospect. Uh, he buys them every single year, does the research. We can't beat him. This is, he, this is what he exact, this is what he claimed about you. He said you're the man that does all the hours. Yeah, mate, he's actually full of shit. Um, as most Tasmanians are, <laughs> but I'm born from here, so yeah. I can't say much, yeah. but anyway. That's why you're one of our favourites, big dog. Good luck this year. <laughs> well done, Ricky. Way to let him have it. Now, that's the passion we're looking for on Dream Team, what isn't Dream it? Dream Team's now, all about. He's a bloody good bloke, though. Yo! But did he call it the prospect? Uh, yes, Calvin, he did. <laughs> Guess what? what? He must have got the version of the prospectus 
without our article in it. Oh. We put the us <laughs> in the prospectus. Oh, it was sort of funny this afternoon. You can't do it again. It's not good. <laughs> that was still some, some can't, less work. No, no, no. All right, boys, based on what we know, if you're picking a team tomorrow, okay, yep. I want you to select a premium and a cash cow. Who would be those two picks straight up? Uh, well, I'd go Goddard, yep. obviously captain of the back line and also captain material. And I reckon the best rookie this year that we've seen is Matera. He'd be one of the biggest cash cows going around. Skinny little fella, but can play a bit, can he? No. No. Um, well, I'm going to look in the back line as well. I like to find value in my premiums. Oh, and it is just. Jack Grimes, he's got value written all over him. Yep. He's, I think he's going to be a top three defender this year. Yep, he called At the it. end of the mm. year, yep, so lock and load him, and he's a slut. Oh, is he is really, he? dog? Yep, he's good at getting the ball. Now, oh, the other oh, one oh, would be oh. Daniel Harris. Daniel Harris is yeah, a pretty one. obvious one, but um, I think we're not going to find too much better than him at 110 yeah. or so, okay? Good yeah, call. yeah, good call. Now, I'm going Dane Swan just because I want the captain lock-in yeah. certainty, etc. Yeah. Um, I'm also going Drew Petrie. Good, yeah. Okay. Now, he's a cash cow, but he could yeah. also be a keeper in my mind. Now, how are you going to really do this? That's the thing, yeah. because he's missing round yeah. one and round three. Round one because of suspension, round three because of the buy. Yeah. I haven't touched him. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a good thing. Um, but <laughs> as far as picking him, I would say I'm going him in the ruck. Yeah. And I think I'm going to spend some extra money and maybe cover him with um, someone that has potential for score, uh, Tyrone Vickery. Oh, nice. Due for a bit of a, a, you know, a step up in his career, breakout year almost. What are you doing? What are you doing? Using my app. What for? <laughs> Trading in. You're getting him in. No, no, no. no. I've got, well, I've got Petrie. He's in my forward line. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, I cover how him. How are you doing that? Well, I'm thinking I'm going to cover him because I've obviously got three bench guys in there and I reckon I can cover him quite easily up until when he comes back. So that's where he is for me. Jeez, you don't want to miss out on Petrie. I know. I reckon he's oh, a potential right. keeper in the run. So you, don't have, you really don't have him? No. So what are you going to do with him in the forward line? Are you going to trade him to a premium later? or? Yeah, why not? Oh, <laughs> all right. You've got more trades in everyone else, pal. <laughs> If only we had footage leading up to this next interview, it was Warn Dog stealth moding into a press conference at, with uh, Alistair Clarkson. At his absolute sneakiest bestie one. He loved Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable. It was piss funny. It was, it was funny, but, you know, he pretty much knew who I was, so, okay, <laughs> you're the Warn Dog. <laughs> He's kind of a big deal. I am a big deal. <laughs> I did I, and, um, and, you know, we reckon he performed really well. As a dream team coach, putting my squad together at the moment, um, Paul Puopolo, what do you reckon about his game? Sat on the bench for the first half. What are his chances early on in the season? Yeah, well, he was uh, he was good, and Shields was another. Uh, Isaac Smith has is, uh, just come into the into the club with Puopolo and uh, and also Shane Savage. So if you uh, if your dream team uh, dream team side's got uh, got those guys in it, you might be a chance to pick up some early points. Excellent. Well, if you pick um, Max Bailey round one, I'll be really happy because <laughs> I want Josh Fraser in my team, so <laughs> Bailey can play for him in round one. <laughs> yeah, no, it'll be, uh, be a bit of fun. You got this side together, have you? Oh, trying to at the moment. It's yeah. struggling, though, at the, mo at the minute. Yeah, well, you know, uh, just for his own sake, I hope, uh, I hope Maxie gets up and going. He'll be, uh, he'll be great for us. Haven't got any letters, and I haven't had a letter, I reckon, for like four years. No, you are struggling. <laughs> exactly right, right, because everybody's tweeting these days, oh, so they this just? new segment is called At DT Talk. Nice. So send us your tweets along and we'll try to answer them for you. What do you All got? right, first one we've got from At Tackling Tidhead. Now, this bloke here, whoever he is, <laughs> wants to know what the hell is the partial lockout? He doesn't know a thing, does he? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> 740, 740 on Thursday night. The Colton and Richmond game, those players are going to be locked out. You cannot touch them. Even if they're on the bench, they are locked out. You That's cannot right. move them. On Friday night, you can still move your guys around until that second game starts, and then everybody's locked. So you can't touch them. So it, it just a little bit more chance to see who's playing on the Saturday and Sunday. And our last tweet here comes from a bloke called at Calvin DT. Now it's me. Yeah, it is you. It must be now, someone copying your name. Did I write that? You couldn't you do did. that. You did. I saw you trying to type it on the computer. I don't know why you didn't just ask me straight away. But your question, Calvin. When do we get to see who we play in the first round? Oh, I did ask that. Now that is oh, a very oh, interesting oh, question oh, because we want to know who we're going to take on because the leagues start from round one this year. Yeah, they do. Now. 
we don't get to see them Thursday night, which is probably a good thing because it might mean that we'd be able to see the live score and oh. who they've got in their team. Yep. We'll get to see that probably Saturday morning, it looks like. So you'll see what the league matchups are on Saturday morning yeah. and then be able to follow your teams live like we were with a very new and improved live scoring system. So be ready for that. Awesome. That's really exciting. Really appreciate you filling me in on that answer. All right. Morning. Well, there's my at reply with words. <laughs> <laughs> who have you got in your team? Uh, I've got a bit of a mixture. I've got... Not a lot of Hawthorne players, I must admit. There's some good prices for players out there. So I've got a few uh, young players, like first-year players, like David Swallow and Gold Coast players. But um, there will be a few Hawthorne players who step up this year. Um, a good player I've got is standing right in front of you now, Cole Cheney. He's an ex-Melbourne player. He's a, a cheap price, and I think he'll play a lot of footy this year for us. So he's in my team already. Oh, is he? Awesome. All right, Roy. Yeah, well, it's a fair call. I couldn't miss the big fella. I, it's pretty dark out here, but that big red light. Yes. It's, it's <laughs> he, it glowed, <laughs> he glowed pretty hard. But yeah. uh, now, Youngie, you, you can't underestimate yourself here. Oh. A couple of years ago in that grand final, you played basically a half a footy, and I reckon you should have won the best on ground personally. So in that half a footy, he showed his dream team potential. And... Uh, well, honestly, mate, what are the chances of sneaking yourself into your own team? How are you feeling about this year? Um, I'm really confident about this year. I've had a good pre-season finally. I've missed out the last couple of years. Yeah, um, about myself, putting myself in there, I don't really do that. But uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd prefer to get other players. and Hopefully I'd, I could probably get too nervous about dream team <laughs> points when I'm playing myself. I'll be thinking about how many points I'll be getting. But, yeah, um, good point. No, I'll... I'm, I'll <laughs> Um, I, last year I had a frustrating season. I came back from injury and I, f I played quite a few games, but I wasn't fit and I wouldn't have racked up as many points as I would have liked yeah, in Dream yeah. Team. So yeah. um, I, I, with a good pre-season under my belt, hopefully I'll be getting more points for you Dream Teams. Yeah. Your team personally, who would you, just on the quiet, who would you avoid from the Hawks? Oh, it's a tricky one. Um, well, I've got... Franklin in there, he's my first player to yeah, chuck in there. But because of because of a slight injury uh, interrupted preseason, I wouldn't have Luke Hodge. He uh, he's a good dream team player, but because he's uh, slight setback the last few yeah. weeks, I probably would avoid him. But he might just come out and dominate the start of the year. So who am I to say? You're exactly right. But uh, just on the quiet, when he he did the dash out about half an hour ago and um, popped in to say good day, and he's his run to the car was less than convincing. Okay. I think he might not actually play round one. Oh, there was a fair hobble in that run. He, uh, he's had a slightly interrupted pre-season, but the word is he's going to play. So oh, okay. um, I can't say. Australia's best athlete. No yeah. longer. <laughs> not good. Youngy, what do you reckon your chances of um, playing in the guts are this year? Will you, do you reckon you'll line up there? In the guts? Yeah. Uh, small chance. Oh, I predominantly play wing, half forward. Um, so in terms of in the middle of the ground, I don't really play there. We'll so take the role, wing though. Yeah, the wing. And sneak up for a few goals. Yeah, definitely, because he can kick from a long way out. Now, um, I've got one test. Like I've been really happy with what you've said so far. At the yeah. moment, you're in the team. Okay. I've got one last little test for you that will lock you in. Yeah. I just need you to look at the camera. Yes. And on the count of three, this is the final test. Yes. One, two, three. Oh! Too dark. Yeah, it is dark. <laughs> it's a big ass. Right. We don't want Youngy in night games then. That's all yeah, right. No, okay. I brought him in. They play plenty of day games it was today. Camouflage with the pants. It was. <laughs> Thanks a lot, no mate. Good work, mate. Champion. Cheers. No champion. <laughs> Righto guys, now is the time to step up. You've got to get your game on here. Back yourself, back your research, go to our website and you'll end up with a good squad. Yes, and make sure you're all up and about and looking at our website every single day. There's going to be heaps um, over this week, but then throughout the year because we are the best Dream Team website going around. We are. Self-proclaimed. Self In Easy. the world. And if you need us, you can twat us. <laughs> Us. <laughs> you can tweet, <laughs> tweet you can tweet, tweet us to <laughs> Roy and Warning DT. <laughs> you can twat him at twathead dot what the hell are you talking I'll about? Twitter me. Do they have Googles on the internet these days? <laughs> I think so. Let's hope so. Good luck in this week and have a very, very good oh. very good dream team season. Just not quite as good as us, hopefully. Tweet you later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
G'day, we're lucky enough to be here with Colin Gut. <laughs> Sorry, I had a couple of beers before I came. G'day, we're... we're <laughs>